Marelo po ay isang pari. So ito po kanyang picture when he was a priest. A priest. Pa. And then yung naging bishop na po siya, nandito po yung kanyang picture. And then, pati itong mga places po na ito, these are the first uh, places kung saan nagsimula ang old place of St. Joseph. So, uh, so, Italy. So ito yung struktura Italy. talaga okay. nandun. Uh, ano originally. Sa, 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 kasi St. Joseph is from Turin, pero kami nagsimula kami sa Asti. 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 Mabuhay, Pilipinas! And hello to the rest of the world! Welcome to your new companion in looking at the church, the world, and the society from the religious point of view. Join us for the weekly dose of inspiration and information straight from the consecrated men and women of the Philippines. We are your Kahabits, the Dominican Sisters of the Anunciata. At welcome sa saya at good vibes tungo sa kabanala. Ito ang The Habit Stambaya! Hello po! Kumusta na po ang pakiramdan nyo ngayon, sister? And po, kinakabahan ko ba, sister Paula? Ngayon, busog na busog po, sister. Bakit? Inubos mo ang laman na kaldero natin? Hindi, pero nauntik na po. <laughs> Malikot season ngayon, bakit di ka nag-bookfasting? Hindi, kasi piyesta naman ngayon, sister. Kailangan natin mag-celebrate. Ay, oo nga, kasi napakaligang pangyayari sa istorya ng ating pagbibigtas ang ipinagdiriwang ng ating simbahan ngayon. Kaya namit na, is namin kayo pati na Happy Peace Day of the Annunciation of the Lord! Mga kahabits, sama-sama na sa ating fiesta celebration today. Dito lang sa The Happy Stambayan. But first, visit our social media accounts, follow us at our Instagram and Facebook page at Conference of Maker Superior PH. Or then follow na para updated ka. Maraming salamat po sa ating pinakamamahal na star senders. Kaya ano pang hinihintay mo, chance mo na rin na makatulong sa ating mga kapatid by sending us Facebook stars. Alam mo ba kung paano kahari Sister Mary Ann? All you need to do is click the star icon next to the comment section. Then you can now buy stars and send them to us. The more stars you can send, the more people you can help. At mga kahabi, please keep watching and sharing our videos from our YouTube channel, Conference of Major Superiors PH. At sa mga hindi pa nakakasubscribe, subscribe na para maabot natin ang 10,000 subscribers mark. Also, magpapanood rin tayo sa TV Maria. Hanapin ang TV Maria channel sa inyong free and cable TV. At tumutok every Sunday nights at 8.30 p.m. and every Thursdays at 6.00 a.m. and 10.00 p.m. Heto na, simulan na ang paghahasik ng mabuting balita. At syempre, good vibes at saya. Mga kahapits, we now present you The Dominican Sisters of the Anunciata.
Oh, Sister Paula, ngayon ganap ka na rin, Madre. Nasa iyo na ang misyon na buksan ang pintuan ng ating kumbento para sa ibang kabataan at mga nais kong Madre. Alam mo ba, Sister, kinakabahan din ako noong una. Bakit naman? Kasi first time kong magpunta sa isang kumbento. Kayo po, Sister, paano niyo po nakilala ang kumbigasyon? Well, nakatanggap ako ng invitation letter nila for this sermon. Paano po nila kayo nakilala? Ay, nako, Sister Paula, mahabang kwento. Pero ang um, natatandaan ko, ang mga madre kasi noon natin, uh, they do vocation campaigns sa uh, different uh, schools and universities. At isa sa napunta nila yung university na uh, saan ako nagtapos, ang kolehiyo. At isa sa kanilang mga napuntahan na classroom, nandun yung pinsan ko. And then, sinabi ng mga madre, kung willing sila or desire nila na mga madre, sulat yung pangalan at address nila. Or kung may kakilala sila. So, yung pinsan ko dahil meron siyang boyfriend, ang sinulat niyang pangalan, ako. No? Kasama ko kasi siya sa Legion of Mary. So, alam mo ba, nung time din na yun, ano ko naman parang may tawag, pero uh, hesitant ako. At alam mo ba, nag-joke ako kay Lord. No? Sabi ko sa kanya, papasok lang ako ng pagmamadre kapag hindi na salag, sila laging nagsusuot ng abito. Guys, kung mapapansin nyo, sa aming dalawa, ako ay nakaabito at siya ay hindi. Hindi po ibig sabihin, hindi tunay na madre si Sister Marian. Oo oh, naman, no? Eto nga, no? May ring na po ako. So, perpetual profess na po ako. Hindi ko nga po akalain na meron po palang kongregasyon na ganito. Para po sa inyong kaalaman, no? Uh, isinusuot po namin ng aming abito, napakagad lang abito, <laughs> Tuwing espesyal okasyon, tulad ng aming first and perpetual profession. Ito po yung mga pagkakataon kung kailan kami po ay nangangako sa Diyos ng aming pag-aalay, ng aming buhay sa Kanya. Bakit po? Bakit tayo hindi laging susuot ng abito? Kasi alam mo, wala nang pinatag yung kongregasyon. Isa sa kondisyon na ibinigay ng obispo sa ating founder ay dapat yung mga madre no, na itatatag niya ay gagamit lamang ng pangkarimiwa ng kasuotan. Dahil nga, merong pag-uusig ng gobyerno sa ating simbahan ng time na yun. Ngayon, alamin natin ang buhay ng aming tagapagtata. Watch this!
Ngayong nakilala nyo na ang aming founder na si St. Francis Paul na siyang sumasalangin sa buhay ng bawat isa sa amin. At yan ang aming papakita sa susunod na segment. Kaya mga kahabits, huwag kayong aalis! Marami pa kami inihanda para sa inyo upang makilala kami ng lulus at upang kayo ay alipin. Don't forget to follow instagram.com slash amrsp.media and our facebook.com slash amrsp.org. Also, send more Facebook stars for you to help the different advocacies of the AMRSP. At kahabits, please watch and subscribe to our YouTube channel, AMRSP Media. Magbabalik ang masaya at good vibes tungo sa kabanalan. Ito ang... The Habits Tambayan! Hello, my name is Sister Jenilyn Magtaka. I am a sister of Our Lady of Consolation. I am Filipina from the Diocese of Novaliches, Quezon City. I have been almost seven years in the congregation and I am professed religious for four years. Our congregation charism is to bring consolation to whomever and whenever it is needed through education, health care, social work, and pastoral. After my first profession in the year 2017, I was assigned to remain in Manila for Mission House. And after three years, I received a transfer to Spain, where our congregation was originally founded and born our founder, St. Maria Rosa Molas. I am sent here to study the language and to know more about the congregation and help in the mission. I arrived here in November 2020 in a town named Caravaca de la Cruz, located in southeast Spain, in the region of Murcia. We have a school here with more or less 700 students from kindergarten until high school. I arrive here with many illusions to learn many things, with a desire to work and to do missions. But like everyone else, the pandemic has slowed us down. But despite of everything, this time of pandemic helps me also in my life as a consolation sister. It was difficult at the beginning because of the language barrier, but I have realized that when you want to do something for others, sometimes there is no need to say anything. I may not be able to help in many things, but I have learned here that it does not matter if we have done great or small things in our mission. The important thing is we were able to bring Christ to them either when we are just sitting beside them, giving food, smiling, or when we talk or shared our experience to them. I am hoping that with my presence here, I am touching the hearts of each person here and let them feel that in our simple presence, as a religious, God is here and with them. The mission was different from where I was before, but here I saw another reality of poverty that awakened my heart and my mind. Here I don't need to go out to bring consolation, because the people we were sent are here inside our place, in the school, and there are many who are in need of consolation. How beautiful to encounter Jesus Christ in the faces of all the people here. Since then, I am inserting my life into the work of the school by help helping in some classes with the children, and also helping and assisting in the canteen. I also help here in the pastoral works and accompany the youth in our movement. I also had a chance to visit and help in other community, helping the residents of elderly people. Many said that being a missionary, there is no need to go out of the country. Yes, it is true, but I realized that when you have the chance to go out and be a missionary in another land, 
it is a gift from God because it will change your life and the way you see things. One of our missionary sister have said, when one crosses borders, when we interact with other cultures, we can no longer continue to, to be the same person. It is a very great richness. It is true and I receive more of what I have given. It is a gift that we can spend time with them, teach and listen to. While I am here, I always remember the words of Pope Francis, as he said, We receive the joy of the gospel, the, the good news that God so loved us that he gave his son for us. And this joy is evident in our people. They see it in our eyes, on our faces, in our songs, in our prayers, in the joy with which we bring our faith to other lands. With all this that we have received, I'm trying to be a living witness to the joy and beauty of our faith. And when the time comes that I need to go back to the Philippines, I will not be the same as Jenny who left us before. Because in my heart will be many places of the people whom I have encountered here and shared life. I always give thanks to God who allowed me to experience all these things. Sasamahan kayo ng dalawa naming madre, Sister Regine at Sister Prela. Pakipasyal naman sila sa ating momento. Days old, and you a bouquet saying it's a mistake. Drink my troubles away, but my glass of champagne, and you know, you know where I go when we're dancing. Handshakes in the Hamptons and getting drunk in the mansions with you. And you look so classy. Come through with that magic, you know that I'm about to smash it. It's true. Now, nakita nyo na ang aming kumbento at isa sa mga aming talento, walang iba kundi ang mag-TikTok! Alam nyo ba guys, may chika kami sa inyo na isa sa aming mga madre ay nakilala bilang isa sister TikToker. Ating tungayan ang panayang tungkol sa kanya ng TV Patrol. Nagbibigay inspirasyon! Idinadaan sa social media ang pagpapalaganap ng bokasyon. At siyempre, hindi nagpapahuli sa mga uso. Kilalanin ang sister TikToker ng Pangasinan na si Sister Regina Ramos. Ayon kay Sister Regine, hindi siya ang unang nag-upload ng video sa TikTok account ng kanilang kongregasyon na Dominican Sisters of the Anunciata. Pero napansin nila na pag-video ni Sister Regine, dumami ang nag-like at follow. Doon nagsimula po yun hanggang sa naging personal account ko na po. Mga sa mga comments, marami nagsasabi na nai-inspire sila sa ina-upload na video po. Para kay Sister Regine, paraan ito para maipaabot ang turo ng Diyos sa bagong henerasyon. So I took the advantage of the social media, especially here in TikTok, kasi alam ko nandyan po yung mga tao, nandyan yung maraming mga kabataan. So syempre kung nasan po yung mga tao, dapat naroon ang simbahan, naroon po si Kristo. Now, nakilala nyo na ang aking kababayan dahil ako rin po ay tubong pangasinan. Alam mo ba, Sister Paula, kung bakit siya nagmahal? At pinili niya ang ating publikasyon? 
Halika, tanungin natin siya. To play ball so we could ruin them Mama said that it was okay Mama said that it was right, all right I kind of people had a bed for the night And it was okay Ako si Sister Regina Ramos Isang Dominican Sister of the Annunciata Pinili ko ang Annunciata Dahil nabighani ako sa kanilang Payak na pumumuhay at magalakan Alala ko nga, nung una ko silang makilala, sinabi ko, tumatawa ko pala ang mga mati, tumatawa ko pala kayo. Simula noon, naniniwala ko na ang Anunciata ay inihanda ng Diyos para sa ato. So, follow Christ, be an Anunciata. Alam mo, sister, ang lakas maka-influensya niya si Sister Regine. Marami siyang nahatak na mag-tiktok sa atin. At alam mo, <laughs> isa ako doon. Kaya guys, watch and see our TikTok videos.
to you in the silence I will lift you from all your fear You will hear my voice I claim you as my choice Be still and Shadows of the night, I will be your light. Come and rest in me. Do not be afraid, I am with you. I have called you each by. strength for all the despairing, healing for the ones who dwell in shame, all, all the blind will see, see the lame will all run, all run free, and all will know my name. Do not be
Alex, nakita niyo na ang aming mga talento. Here I am, servants of the Lord. Speak to me and let your will be done. Ayan, mga mensahe ng okasyon na ipinagdiriwang natin ngayon. Tulad ni Maria, matuto tayong sumunod palagi sa kalooban ng Diyos na ano man ito kahirap o kaimposible. Correct ba, Sister Paula? Correct, Sister! So mga kahabits, thank you for saying yes na sumama sa tambayan today. Nag-enjoy ba kayo? Let us know through our Instagram and Facebook page at Conference Major Superiors PH. At huwag kalimutang mag-send ng stars to help our different advocacies in CMSP or AMRSP. Also visit our YouTube channel, AMRSP Media, where you can also catch our weekly broadcast of the Holy Rosary and the Sunday Eucharist, and more contents from the consecrated in the Philippines. Also check out sa TV Maria free channel every Sunday nights at 8.30 p.m. with replays every Thursday at 6 a.m. and 10 p.m. And we want to say to all young women out there, be one of us! Yes.